Hello, you guys. Welcome back to Ghost 45 Show. My football fans, Vikings fans, and people here in San Diego. You guys know I did my whole soccer city at the SD, San Diego State University um, West Plan, right? You guys saw that. Well, today we ha I didn't know about this. It was, it was announced back in March. Um, there's a new football league, and I'm kind of uh, up up in air with this. It's called the AAF, Alliance of American Football. Oh, yeah. Sounds pretty badass, right? Because it has Alliance in it. Oh, Alliance. Like, Justice League Alliance or Marvel Alliance, you know, all this, whatever it is, you know, or cool, it has the word Alliance in it. And of American football. Oh, it's American. Obviously, it's American football. What is it going to be like? Alliance of then well, watch this. A spring league for Canada after C Canadian football league's over. We're having more football in Canada called the Alliance of Canadian Football League. Or the Alliance of Canadian Football. What's next? The Alliance of Australian Football Rugby. Like such a simple, basic name. And they have eight teams. Could be eight teams starting in um, like the week after or something. I think it's like February 9th, and the week or so after, after the Super Bowl, it's gonna be eight eight teams, ten ten games. It's gonna be on CBS and CBS Sports Network, two of the best. Two I think two of the best because CBS Sports Network obviously shows the the um, the falling apart league, arena football league, with only four teams. It's technically five, but there's really four. Philadelphia. Washington, Baltimore, and Albany, New York. If Albany, New York was a team, oh, it would have been three team, three three team league, and it's still boring because you play the same teams like every week. It would be like Philadelphia versus Washington, Philadelphia versus Baltimore, Philadelphia versus Albany, Philadelphia versus Washington again, Washington versus Al. You know, it's like the same teams, and I feel like it's boring. And CBS Sports Network is showing it. It's like, yeah, the fifth team is. Cleveland, but I guess I guess the um, I guess the Q, whatever you call it, the Quicken Loan. This is nice coffee. Quicken Loans Arena, whatever you want to call it, it was getting redone, so they had to st they couldn't play the thing because they wanted to get Quicken Loans Arena redone. I guess. So if, it, if the Quicken Loan Arena wasn't redone, it would have been five teams, but still you play the same teams over and over and over again because all these other teams left the Arena League like a while back, like. Literally, like two years ago, like the Arena League was fall was just failing. And the Indoor Football League was like the top one because the Arena only had like four four teams. So the Indoor League had like a bunch of teams just stacked up, team after team after team. So that that one kind of failed a little bit. All these some of these teams are falling apart or going to different leagues like the AAL. I think it's called American Arena League or Arena American League or something like that. I think that's the more better one. And of all these, all the, all the two big, big leagues. Arena Football League and Indoor Football League. I think the AAL is one of the top ones, I think, right now. In my opinion. You guys can disagree with me. Because I like more teams. And I think it's a more bit, bit bigger league. I think a lot of people are getting into it more. But obviously, for um, for televising standpoint, the AFL and the IFL are the two ones that, you know, IFL is on YouTube. YouTube live streaming. And I know... Some of the teams, I know, like, the Arizona Rattlers have their games on Fox Sports Arizona. In the AFL, all the games are going to be on CBS Sports Network, so you have to go to your local station, and that's it. CBS Sports Network on Facebook Live. They're going to Facebook Live. Facebook. The only thing I don't like, the, now they're doing, for the Arena League, they're doing Arena Football League app, which is like, why get the app? We have 14 league. Your team should be, that league should be closed. Who operates on a 14 league and play the same teams every day? The fans must get bored. When are we playing a new team? Oh, wait, we're playing Washington. Oh, wait, we're playing Baltimore again. Didn't we just see them last week? But anyways, enough of me writing and about that. If anything, if you want to keep a big league going afloat, I think the AAL is a big one for the Arena League. And that's what I feel like a lot of people are doing now. Because this is like the spring league arena when NFL and Canadian Football League are over. They go to the Arena League or whatever, you know, when there's no NFL to watch or no Canadian Football League to watch. So the two top best right now, Canadian or NFL, Canadian Football League, because Canadian Football League starts like a couple months before 
the NFL does start, so you guys can watch that for a while. You know, I'm a big Canadian football fan. I like my Montreal Wets. I got Montreal Wets jersey, jersey in my in my closet there. You know, so that's a big one. Starts and it ends in November, like right around I think, like a week after. I think we have Thanksgiving because you guys know Canada has Thanksgiving. I think Thanksgiving is in October. Our Thanksgiving is in November. I think it's like a week after Thanksgiving is the Grey Cup, which is like the Canadian Super Bowl, right? So then the NFL is probably playing their games around that time, and then theirs ends in February. So, But still, I still watch both, even when they're playing, because they play almost close during the same season, but Canadian Football League starts earlier and ends earlier. NFL starts later and ends later. Does it? But they still come, they still play during the same season. So there'll be Canadian Football League games when NFL games are on. I still watch both. Even my team's not playing, like the Vikings are not playing. We have a bye week. I watch my Canadian football league team. or the Canadian football league games because you usually have some Friday night football or Saturday night games. So I watch those for Sunday NFL. You know. So there's that. But this AA AAF. The owner is the guy who helped out Vince McMahon start the XFL. Or at least whatever helped him out the XFL. And I feel like he's backstabbing, piggybacking off the XFL. You know, he wants to make this... A safer game. Okay, cool. No, no kickoffs. No, no extra point. And no, and no onside kick. Oh, people get hurt during the kickoff. People get hurt during the onside kick, and extra points are boring. What do you think NFL is? You think there's kickoffs. There's a point conversion, and there is onside kicks. And you rarely see kickers get injured. Cause we, we, the kicker kicks the ball and that's it. And they run down the field and try to try to help you block the guy or you know or knock him out. That's it. They, you know, I I knew somebody who played in the NFL, but it wasn't like a big star or anything. In my culinary arts class, I knew some guy. His name is the uh, Steve something. I forgot his name. I know his first name was Steve. I forgot his last name, but it was Steve. He he played. He was a punter, I think, a punter or kicker, or whatever. He said, I think he's he was on the practice squad with the Eagles. He he was on the um, Kansas City Kansas City Chiefs for a little for a while back in the day. But he wasn't big, you know. He doesn't play anymore, but he wasn't that big. He knew some football star like Jerry Allen and stuff. So I'm like, you can give me Jerry Allen autograph. He's like, I don't know him anymore now, but he used to be best friends to hang out, you know. But he was in my culinary class. He told all he's been in the NFL, blah blah blah, but. It's all glitz and glamour. He told me about his kicker life. He barely got hurt. I mean, he got lit up once or twice, but... It's like, kickers don't really... Kickers do matter. You know, that's what the people say. You think, oh... Oh, kickers don't matter. They do. Because they want to make you win the game with the extra point. And a lot of times, two-point conversions don't really... Are not really the best. Because, oh, we're going to go for two points because we're down by, like, a point or two or three. Or we have to get this so we can kind of be close into the game. And this stupid thing, if you don't convert or whatever, then the other team gets the ball. Like, how stupid that is. It's like, and, and then, since there's no onside kicks, we're going to start the ball at the 35-yard line. That is dumb. Like, you're, you're just doing a whole, like, stupid twist of, like, football itself. Like, you're going Canadian, but but your own way. The Canadians, like, I think cause the NFL's like 11 men. I think Canadians 12 men, right? They only have three downs. It's just same same rules as the NFL, but just three downs, and the rest is all the same, you know. But the only thing different, they have a rouge, which is one point. That's, so the only two differences, basically, in Canadian football is, is have a rouge, which is a point, you know. If you can't take out your end zone, whatever, it's a rouge, not a safety, whatever, a rouge. I think the other team scores on you, or I don't know what it is, but I know it's a rouge. There's a one point in the game. And then there's three downs. The rest are all the same, you know, you get past your base, blah, 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 this and the third. But the field goes up in the front, obviously, and then it's like 110 yards with like a 10-yard end zone or a 15-yard end zone. It's a bigger end zone and like more yardage. As the NFL is like 100 yards, like a, what, 10-yard or 5-yard end zone. It's very small than when a Canadian football end zone. It's more wider. So, it's like you're basically just taking NFL, uh, taking like... Canadian Football League rules, but Canadian Football League can do onside kicks, Canadian Football League can kick field goals, Canadian Football League can kick returns, all of a sudden third. But you're like trying to do it their way, like you're trying to make it like 35 yard line, okay. But Canadian Football League three downs, blah blah blah, Rouge, one point, you know. Two point conversion, ah, 
I don't like the way he's going with this. Yeah, you're gonna, yeah there's no kickoff, so you're going to start the ball at the 25-yard line. Dumb. You need a kickoff. No one's going to get hurt. You rarely see people get hurt in kickoff returns. I don't know what kind of football you've been watching, boy, because lately I haven't seen nobody get injured in really much in kickoff, kickoff returns. So that's just my opinion. But I feel like since the XFL's coming back in 2020, I feel like he, he's, he's just freaking piggybacking, betraying Vince McMahon. Because Vince McMahon's probably going to bring a better, better product. Probably he's probably going to have the kickoff return and all he's not going to do. I guess what he did the last time in the last one season. Which was everybody run up to the ball and smash heads, which was like dumb, you know. And they tried to bring WWE into this, WWE into this, you know, like how oh, is how the Rock and blah blah blah. So they're gonna have regular play, regular players, regular star players, you know, that couldn't make it to the NFL, want to get in their second chance, or maybe people in the Canadian Football League that are non-national players, because I don't know if he's gonna allow Canadian national players, like some guy from. Let's see. Montreal, uh, what's it called? McMaster, something like that. Montreal University, or, or, or Calgary University. Calgary Dinos. This player is going to go to the XFL or the AAF or something. No. You're not going to have that. Because you guys, if you guys know, they're, they're trying to make um, Canadian Arena Football League. So maybe the people who don't get drafted into the CFL can go to the Canadian Arena Football League and play. And it could be national. I think they should make that national. I don't think you should add international to that. You know, maybe, maybe, maybe they might. I don't know how this league is going to turn out, but maybe they can add the the international players, which are Americans. They don't get drafted to the CFL, can go there unless they want to go back to uh, the United States to play in some arena league like that or join the AAF. But I think the XFL is going to be way better. They want to. I know the whole no criminal record, and that's stupid, but. He's piggybacking on Vince. Vince is going to be a better product. I know you have. And you're bringing all these old washed-up coaches. You know, like Spurrier and and our Vikings old coach, Brad Childress, and the other guy, I forgot the other guy's name. And they have now, I think, Brad Childress is the head coach for the Atlanta Alliance. And and um, and Michael Vick is the offensive coordinator for the Atlanta Alliance. I feel like you got to take those teams and put it where there's no NFL teams. Like, Atlanta has way too much teams right now, man. And I don't think nobody's really going to support it when they have MLS going on right now and they have uh, um, Atlanta United and the Atlanta United 2 for the United Soccer League. And you already have, like, a lot of colleges playing there. Georgia Southern, Georgia State, Georgia University, you can name it. Georgia this, Georgia that. You have all these colleges that play football. You have, you have the Falcons. You have Atlanta United, like I said. You have Atlanta Braves. You have so many. Atlanta... The Atlanta Hawks. You have so many teams there. And then the Georgia Swarm, uh, National Lacrosse League that just won the championship last year. You have so many teams there. You're just, you're just flooding their city with football. They have way too much football in their hands to deal with. You bring in Atlanta, Atlanta Alliance. Stupid. Dumb. You know, I know a lot of people are going to vote for Soccer City here in San Diego, but if you vote San Diego State University West plan, you'll get a football stadium. So then you could bring an AAF team or an XFL team. That's just my opinion. That's just me. Bring one here because a lot of people are desperate for football, so you don't have the Chargers. You know, bring it to cities that don't have football teams, but now we want to bring it where the NFL teams like Orlando. They have the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and they have the uh, Miami Dolphins. You're bringing in a team in Orlando, that's okay, I guess. Not really, you know. Tem Orlando is, already has MLS. A lot of people like soccer down in... I mean, yeah, football is big, but it's not as big. Like, if you bring teams to Texas, you know, they have Houston, and they have um, Dallas. You could bring them probably in San Antonio, maybe Austin, maybe some places. Because you guys know Texas is huge for football. Have you ever been to Texas? It's like, they, they eat, breathe, sleep football. I'm telling you guys, this is the truth. This is the truth. So, that's what I would do. I would go to those cities... Like Texas, Texas, you'll make bank off this uh, um, football lines crap. Like literally, people will watch. I think it isn't the spring league. The spring league only has two teams, east and west. I think it's called. That are on uh, Bleacher Report Live, the new new streaming thing. You can watch games. Fans go watch. I mean, it's not full stadium, but fans go watch it. But now since you have this football lines crap. People in Texas will watch anybody. Maybe Alabama. They flood the whole freaking city. They'll go see the freaking the um. 
Crimson Roll Tide, you know? So, all that. Like, bring it there. Bring it Arkansas. Bring it to freaking San Diego. Bring it to, you know, any city that doesn't have a football team or had one at one point. Bring a team there. So, the XFL, they'll go back to your same roots. And I heard that, that now um, Vince McMahon wants to bring an Orlando team, an XFL Orlando team there, because they used to have a land, uh, an Orlando team back in the day. They want to bring it back there. I hope he's not doing what he did last year. Bring all the teams that were in the XFL last at one time, we're at one of the last ones, even bring those teams back, like the New York, New York, New Jersey Hitmen, and all these Orlando and LA Extreme, and blah 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 blah. Like, don't compete with the AF, AAF. Do your own thing, Vince. Like, go to the cities, because I know freaking AF is not gonna listen to me. I'm not gonna listen to anybody, because they're already getting said they're gonna go to NFL markets this and the third. Go to cities like San Diego, like places that don't have football team, and bring an XFL team there. You will make bank, your product will grow, and you're not competing with the NFL, you're not competing with the Canadian Football League, you're not competing with the Arena, the Indoor, the AAL, any other Arena League or league out there you're not competing with. You're doing your own thing. You know, brand, yeah, they're going to stand for the National Anthem. Yeah, they might have, they said no criminal record. Yeah, this and the third. You could bring anybody. And yeah, they're saying, oh, can you recruit high school players? You do this, you do that. No. What do you think? Can you recruit college players? Obviously not either. You have to wait their don't college, right? You have to at least have one year in college to join these spring leagues, probably, I'm assuming. Because cause the AF guys, the people are asking, can you, can you recruit high school players now? No high school players, no high school players. Okay. Sounds fair. Even the XFL, no high school players. So many people are out of college, maybe people have one or two years of college can play. Whatever. But yet, or you have to finish college. I don't know how this thing is going to work with the undraftees. A lot of people, they don't get the NFL, at least go to the Arena League or they at least go to Canada. That's the only two best options they do because, and I don't know what the salary is going to be for the XFL and the, and the, and the uh, AAF because it's going to be like Arena League where people have to people have to go to work after, you know, like, because in the Arena League, a lot, I, heard, I used to be a big Arena fan. Not really occasionally watch it here and there, but not anymore, not really. We used to be an LA Kids fan. One of our quarterbacks was J.J. JJ Reddick or JJ something. JJ, he's a quarterback. He's like, I got, I got to work a second job because you only get paid a thousand something dollars in the arena league. And he had to go to his second job where he said he worked with like, I don't know, some company or like computers or something. So you're not going to make a lot of money in the arena league. In Canada, they at least get paid about a million or a, 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 you get paid more in the Canadian league than you get paid in the arena league or the indoor league or the AAL or whatever. Obviously, the best one is the NFL, obviously. And they'll go, they'll go NFL, Canada, and all these arena leagues or all these little spring pop-up ball league, pop corner leagues or whatever. You know, those are the other ones. But two big ones are NFL and Canada. Like, you get paid better with those two leagues, with Canadian dollars and with American dollars. You get paid better more with those leagues than you do with arena leagues. For arena leagues, you get paid a thousand-something dollars, which... Like if you guys watch uh, lacrosse, the National Lacrosse League and the Major League Lacrosse League. Players that play National Lacrosse League or the MLL play in both leagues because they can't make ends meet. It's like basically almost getting paid minimum wage, but not really get paid more than they get minimum wage. If you play National Lacrosse League or the MLL, a lot of people play for both leagues. A lot of people play for one and have to do the regular job. It's like it ain't easy with these little small leagues that a lot of people try to grow their fan base. Like a Arena League. Way back in the day, it was really popular. It was the most popular. Probably people didn't really know much how really know what what Canada was back in the day, but now they do. Since it's like all these are like like Kevin, you know, all these old NFL stars play in the Canadian League, you know, and all these old NFL players now joined them with like Taylor Jenkins, Michael Sam, you know, all, um, all these players, you know, so. Let me know in the comments section down below what you think. And they also they have this, new, uh, I mean, it's not new, I think it started last year, that flag football thing where Michael Vick played and all those, or they go play. Yeah, they're bringing that back this year. And I don't know who's going to play in it or not, but it's like old dudes playing, call it, or playing flag football. Like professional flag football. But yeah, they're bringing like, all these old coaches from college into this AA, AAF thing. So let me know what you guys think about this. All these old coaches are trying to come out of retirement because probably they pay the taxes and not have that much money. 
You know, like a lot, that's my dad said, like with rock and that, all the old school rockers are coming out on tour to probably have to pay the taxes and pay the guy, you know, pay, pay, um, Uncle Sam or something, that's what he's saying. So a lot of, all of the old people are bringing it back, yeah, because you don't have to pay the taxes or whatever, they, whatever it is, you know. Who knows, let me know what you guys think about the AAF. I think it's a little, I think it's piggyback, because once Vince, Vince announced his thing, what, last year, like late last year, about this whole XFL thing, I think it's going to blow up, then all of a sudden, boom, AAF comes along. It's like you're piggybacking off the XFL. XFL came first, you know, they're going to come in 2020. Yeah, you got you guys going to bring your product a little earlier, a, a year earlier. Then what Vince is going to do next year, you're going to probably see some, maybe some team pop-up names. Maybe something more about the league, and that's in the 2020, the league will start. So maybe next year you're going to see more about teams, cities, blah, this, that. Third coaches, blah blah blah, jerseys, this that, uniforms. You'll see all that next year for the XFL. I'm assuming unless they're gonna wait to 2020, but 2020 they want to start the league. So I'm assuming next year's gonna be teams, this that, media. Get it all out there, you know. Like take, um, take the Vincent Mac character, leave it aside for WWE for an hour, and just do your football thing and blah blah blah. It's gonna be tough. I don't know who's gonna work this, or right, because I know he's at every event for WWE. I mean SmackDown. Raw, pay-per-views, whatever it is, live events. He's always there in the back because he is the boss. Unless we're going to have these other people that may work for him and do XFL for him while he does WWE. I don't know how this is going to work. He's, he's going to juggle a lot. But we'll see. You know, no done deal yet with the um, Hamilton Tiger Cats for Johnny Manziel. No done deal yet. With anything, I heard that Michael Sam might even want to join the XFL. He's saying because I guess he did dance with stars about a year or so ago, and he's like, "Yeah, I like, to, like I'm not done with football." He liked to join football. He said maybe the XFL in 2020. Tell you a lot of people are going to the XFL right now. It's gonna, it's gonna be a Jerry picked league. Right? You know, Jerry picked people. And there's already fans with these uh, Alliance of Atlanta. There's Alliance of Atlanta, Alliance of Memphis, and Alliance of Orlando. Those are the only three teams out of the eight so far that's been announced. And I think it's kind of cheese, sleaze. Are they going to keep it alliance? Oh, alliance of Memphis is playing alliance of Atlanta. Stupid. I could say Memphis is okay, but yeah, the Tennessee Titans, which... Because eh. we were like, oh yeah, because football's over. We need more football. Like, football just ended, dude. We're going to have Arena League in, like, a couple months from now. Like, it can wait. We don't need... To shut football down our throats 24-7, we understand, yeah, that, that they do the spring league or whatever, and then we have the combine, the draft, pro day, um, you name it. Then you have the Canadian League starting, like, literally, at, like, a couple months after, like, the, I think the Canadian League starts, like, coming up, like, in, like, a couple weeks from now, like, literally a couple weeks from now. So it's like, you're going to give us a spring league that ends in April. So it's February ends in April. Yeah, cool. And then we have the Canadian League. So we have so much football to shut down our throats. Like, it's going to, like, I love my NFL. I love my Canadian Football League. I don't need 10,000 leagues to be shut. Yeah, I'll watch the XFL to see how shit the product is. I'm not going to watch this anything. I might check it out, but I'm not going to be a fan of it. Even if we get a team, I'm not going to be a fan of it. It's just a bunch of mumbo jumbo piggyback off the XFL. You know, so piggyback and do your own thing, because this guy worked for Vince and did the XFL, and he's like, oh, well, Vince already announced the XFL's coming back, so might as well just steal his product and do it my way. I don't know, let me know what you guys think, I'm just rambling on this thing, I'm just kind of pissed about it, not a big fan, you're just piggybacking off somebody's success, I mean, it wasn't really success, obviously, I know that's one season, but, yeah, now he's bringing it back, and it's going to be more, more successful than this AFL, AFA crap, AAF, AAF crap. I know they bring Heinz Ward as one of the people work or one of the fat or owners or whatever this whole crap. You're just bringing all these watch the players that probably need to owe taxes or something like that. Just bring them back and just wasting their time because they know you want to be they know they want to be retired and not coach anymore. So I don't know. I think this XFL is going to be more successful than this AFA. And if you guys support it, good luck for you. Hope your city gets a team. Um, it's cool to bring some football. A form of like uh, non draftees or people who play in the Canadian League or the or the NFL or the Arena League and just have them play for your city because they already announced a team like Memorial Stadium, I think, whatever that is. That's where I think the um, the Memphis team's gonna play. I know the Georgia State Panthers um, at Turner Field, which used to be called Turner Field, now it's called Georgia State. 
Pack the Swoop was in. That's where the, a lot of teams are going to play. And I know the, um, a lot of teams are going to play at UCF Stadium. Yeah, cool. Orlando they have a football team. They used to have a they used to have arena football league team and they used to have the XFL team. Because they had folded like in 2016 because everybody else was folding because the league was just dropping like fly. Team after team after team were leaving, leaving. They had like a lot of teams. They had like at least almost 10 teams. Just dropping, dropping, dropping. You would have kept those 10 teams, kept it going. You would have had a bigger fan base in this stupid spring leagues. Trust me. But they're not making that much money to survive, so. Oh well. I mean, let me just guys think. What do you think the salary is going to be? Is it going to be like arena football league salary? They only make a thousand something dollars a year. Are they going to whatever? Are they going to pay like the NFL? Maybe get paid like Canadian football league? What do you think the salary is going to be? What do you think about this whole stupid AAF league alliance of American football league? What do you guys think about that? Do you think it's going to be a success? Do you think it's going to be a freaking thumbs up? Thumbs up? Do you think it's going to be a success? Sometimes it's going to be a shit show or just. Crap on you think the XFL is going to be better than the AFA? Like, this is AFA and this is XFA. Is it going to be better? Like, oh yeah, XFL is going to be better. Or I think the AFA is going to be better and XFL is going to be shit. Let me know. I think the XFL is going to be better than the AFA. It's just, they're just literally copy Vince because Vince came out with it. So like, I'll just do mine, you know. It's going to be a, it's going to be a crap shoot. And they, and they, they said they wanted to start doing fantasy for this crap. Like, Oh yeah, you can pick your player and fit and do fancy on these people like for like a not even a long not even a long season. Ten games, that's nothing. NFL plays what? Eighteen, sixteen games with them? I don't know, something around that or less. Ten games. And end like April twenty sixth and they said so it's like February ninth to twenty sixth, championship game, blah blah blah. So it's, I don't know. It's, um, bye bye. I think the XFL is probably the same, but they're probably not gonna do fantasy. They're gonna just have a fun league. Like I, I will, I won't do fantasy on this crap. I'll do fantasy for NFL. I'll do can okay, Canadian football is doing fantasy. Yeah, any of these bigger leagues, I find because you're taking up washed up undrafted players and putting them on there. That like like when they do with that American flag football league, yeah, like uh, Michael Vick, Chad Zigo, every of these old these old players in the flag football league, like. Just bring all the washed up players that want to play football again, like you're doing with this whole uh, big three. Like all these washed up, MB all these washed up NBA players or whatever hoop stars are now doing it. They have the draft with the big three and all this. Yeah, it's cool to watch bring these old guys, but it's like they're old. They're washed up. Yeah, they can still ball, whatever. But it's like, who really cares, you know? And the merchandise sales, I don't know how that. You know, it's just a bunch of, bunch of bulls. So let me know what you guys think. Okay, let me know what you guys think about this whole league. I won't do fantasy. If you guys want to do fantasy, it's cool for you. Yeah, they want to bring back T-Ball. They want to probably bring Menzel. They want to bring Kaepernick. Let's get Kaepernick a shot. They want to bring all these, like, literally, players that thought they could make it. They, they probably still can make it, but, you know, I think Tim Tebow's on, on the right track of where he's at right now, hitting bombs. I think he's in Connecticut right now, hitting bombs right now for Connecticut. Like, I think it's double A. I think he's at double A now. I think he went from single A to double A. I think he's about to start triple A maybe next year. Then, and then, uh, then come 2020, he might be an MLB player. You know, I, I like the way he's doing it. I like, I like the way his heart's going, you know. And not because he's Christian, I'm Christian, but I don't want to bring no faith into this. But I'm just saying, I like the way he's going. I think he's going to stick to baseball. Yeah, I heard that uh, that Steve Spurrier guy. The, and, of course, they'll have Spurrier as the Orlando coach because he used to coach in Florida for the Gators. Yeah, they're going to have him coach, obviously, for Orlando. They're not going to have him coach, like, in, you know, bring him out of retirement. He has to pay, probably pay his taxes. But, um, yeah, he got, he said to do one. They're like, no, he wants to stick to hitting home runs, swinging the bat. You know, making plays. And I'll, I would too. You probably make a lot more money <laughs> than you would joining this stupid AAF crap. Cause I, know, I don't know, like I said, honestly, I don't know their salary. It could be a real football league salary, make a thousand something bucks. Unless you're really going to pay these guys like NFL style money or Canadian football league style money. Like, okay, so it's like, alright, whatever, right? So let me know what you guys think about this. I know it's like almost a half an hour video long, but uh, thank you guys for watching. Like this video, leave a comment, subscribe for more. What you guys think? I think XFL is gonna be a lot better. 
I know Hope No Criminal Records ain't standing for the national anthem and all this. And I think they're going to be on the right track 18, so I think it's going to be better because they might have. Because I didn't hear nothing about no field goals, no onside kicks, no extra point. All that's going to be in the XFL because you. I gotta say this: kickers do matter. You, you're basically ruling out the undrafted kickers that probably, I don't know, couldn't make it to the Canadian Football League, couldn't make it to the Green League to kick balls. So they're like, what do we do? Do we start like whatever my degree was in college? I'm going to use it for and just do that because you got to give these guys a shot. I feel like Vince is going to give these guys a shot with the extra point, the kick. You know, on kick. They're gonna give kickers a shot that are undrafted kickers that got undrafted this year. I think there's only maybe one or two kickers that even got drafted this year. I know we got a kicker from Auburn and the Vikings in this draft, but that's I think that's basically the we got kickers. The only undrafted kickers, none of these big kickers are going nowhere because now the AFA is like we don't want no kickers. So how are they gonna get a spot to join an NFL team if if you're trying to make this the bigger league? You know. With his AAF team, AAF league, you know I think Vince is going to be on the right track and allow kickers to get their time, and allow every player to play a position and have their time, so the NFL or Canadian league can see and say, hey, they want to join one of your leagues, you know, check these guys out, check out their highlights, their real tape, blah blah blah, their mixtape, whatever, and it's like the XF, XL or something like that, the development league. They had a league back in the day. I think only like two or. Three or four teams. I gotta look it up. And they had a team in Brooklyn. And it was like a spring league. And jo Josh Freeman played for that league. But it never lasted long. It never really lasts long. He was a part of this league. I just forgot what the team name was. We had Josh Freeman. We got Josh Freeman. We got Josh Freeman. That's the that right here. Quarterback. He's an American professional quarter, Canadian football league quarterback for the Montreal Alliance for the Canadian football league. So he's put like it. We got Josh Freeman. How cool. Didn't know that. I don't know if he'll start that, but we got Josh Freeman on our team. You gotta know, like, the Montreal Alouettes. We got Josh Freeman. Freeman. See? See the See the Brooklyn Bolts. That's what they're called. The Brooklyn Bolts and the X F X F L. There's a it was a professional American football team based in Brooklyn. They were a charter member of the Fall Experimental Football League. So it's like giving people another chance to play. And he was one of them called the Brooklyn Bolts. Only lasted uh folded in found in two thousand fourteen, folded in two thousand sixteen, didn't last long. Two 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 seasons. In the fall experimental league, this was like uh, it's only three teams. It was like Brooklyn and something else. It was on ESPN three. They showed the games on ESPN three, but it didn't last long. See, it would later be followed with the spring league. So this FXFL, the fall experimental football league, was now basically the spring league. See, it says Brian Wood. It would be. Later, be followed with the Spring League in 2017. So they only had three teams. And people actually watched. They had um, Brooklyn. Um, oh, I guess here, here's, here's some of the teams. They have Flo I didn't play, but Florida Black Tips, Hudson Valley Fort, Boston Brawlers, and Omaha. Mammoth and then the Brooklyn Bolts. Unnamed. Portland, Oregon team. Texas Outlaws was supposed to be a team. Mohegan Valley, Moh Mohegan Valley Brawlers was supposed to be a team. 
only lasted two seasons, and, and every every year was uh, with Brooklyn, where they see the winners of every year. So, see, and now Josh Freeman is in Montreal Alouette. That's cool. I hope he gets a play. I don't know who their quarterback right now. I think it's. But anyways, this is a long video. I think that's for why I like to be a league. Comment, subscribe for more. What you guys think about this whole leagues and AAF? You think it's gonna be a good league, or I think it's gonna be a, a shit league? You think the XFL is gonna be better than the AAF, or I think the XFL is gonna be a better league, or I think XFL is gonna be a shit league? Let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys for watching. Like to be a league. Comment, subscribe for more. How's it gonna help San Diego? Maybe AF, AF, AAF team will come here, or an XFL team. XFL team will come here. If not. We're not, we're not going to see a professional football team in a while. Everybody votes Soccer City, which I think everybody will come November 6th to get an MLS team here. But anything happens. Cause I, now I'm hearing reports. I heard a report, I think, yesterday about it. Cause I just found about it yesterday because I saw the, the ESPN was talking about this or something. So, I heard a report saying that I think this AAF league only wants teams in the south to play only in teams in the south so only only look specifically to the south so yeah that's my mom said about that so yeah let me know what you guys think about this whole thing so maybe the XFL maybe not going to go so I hope XFL doesn't go what they did last year and just go to the teams that were in the XFL before and just bring them there because LA has two teams LA Chargers LA Rams so I don't think it's going to really last there so go to, to go to cities okay look at the map another team to have a professional team this team only has arena football league team this team only has NFL this team only has arena this team only has some kind of made up league this team only has whatever you know so there is a lot of cities that only have just arena leagues, and that's a lot of people watch, you know, or a lot of people only have no teams, anything that doesn't have an arena league or NFL team or what any kind of just semi-pro or whatever league have, have put a team there. So Orlando already has whatever, I think mean, they already have one, but still, Florida in that region already has like a billion football teams. Texas already has a billion football teams. Any team, any city that have a professional or semi-pro, like whatever, football team, put a put a team there. If they do already have a arena league or they do have it in the NFL, don't put a team there because that's football. Period. If it doesn't have any sort of football, not talking about soccer, football, we throw it. Put a team there. That's it. I'm done. I'm I'm done. Bye, y'all.